Hi everyone, welcome back to GFIS and Pilates, I'm Gabby and today we're going to talk about groin pain. But if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe first. It's the button that says subscribe and give me a thumbs up even before you do anything else. So if you're suffering with groin pain, um, you will find that anything that moves the knee up towards you away is just causing a bit of discomfort in that area across the groin area. So a few things we need to do. First thing I recommend is getting a spiky ball or something really, really hard and just gently massaging the adductor. So that's your inner thigh muscles. So you can either do it in sitting, relaxing one leg, leaning with your hand and just rubbing the ball. Just small little circles just to kind of get it going. If you don't have a ball or anything like that, you can always use a rolling pin and just kind of relax it. I wouldn't go too, too hard because the inner muscles here are a bit sensitive, but do what you can. You do about 30 seconds and I always do left and right. So even if you don't have any pain on the right side, I would always do the other side for about 30 seconds and you're just massaging it in. Now, if it is very sensitive and you think, oh, I don't really want to massage it with a, with a ball, then maybe put a hot pack instead. Ice on the tendon, but on the muscle itself, I would recommend heat to relax the muscles. Because usually what happens with groin problems is the muscles get very tight and they just grab onto the bone and they just pull, causing a bit of a tendonitis in the tendon and you know, muscles just get very tight because it's just working there. So after we've done the bit of a massage for the inner thigh muscles, then we need to strengthen the muscle. Because usually there's always a reason why this happens. Either your leg is too weak or it's been overused. So you've got to start from square one, basically. Nice little baseline. So I'm going to grab my Pilates ball. I'm going to put it in between my legs. And you can do this sitting, standing, wherever you are. I'm going to lay down in my Pilates neutral position. And I'm just squeezing the ball for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, and relax. Now, like I said, you can do this anywhere in any position, but you have to squeeze. So I started with my ball between the knees. Now I've gone a little bit lower for the belly itself. I'm just squeezing that ball, just squeezing again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now, I would say if it is very sensitive, repeat three or four times just to kind of get those muscles stronger. Once you've done, this is your warm up basically, you're gonna literally just go back into your Pilates position and we're just gonna put the left knee tabletop position, a single tabletop, so it's 90 degrees at the left knee. I'm gonna bring the left knee out to the side because the left knee is my problematic knee. So you always gonna do your problematic knee first and you're just gonna go out to the side, making sure you're engaged your core, rib cage is aligned with the pelvis, and I'm not going all the way that and my body goes with it. It's just going as far as the leg can go. Because it's going to rebuild the inner thigh muscles at its best. We're doing about 10 reps on the left, 10 on the right. But nice and controlled, making sure we're breathing in, breathing out. And it's just building up those muscles nicely. Now, if you find this is too easy for you, you can always do it with your leg straight going out to the side. But go for the level you've gone for. This is a groin rehab, so this is building up the muscles inner side. But of course, once you're on the left side, do to the right side, just because when it goes out to the side, it's making your pelvis and your bum and your core work. So it's rebalancing everything. Usually when you've got an irritation somewhere, means the whole body has compensated. So I'm usually gonna do more than one joint. So just do both, just easy to do both. We're doing 10 reps, we've just got five more. And again, if you find that's too easy, just straighten your leg. But of course, keep in line with the pelvis. If you find you're curving your spine, push your lower back into the ground, nice and controlled, but just breathing in, breathing out, Control the movement. And on my last rep now, my 10th one, just doing another one, good. 
bring it back, relax the legs, give it a nice little shake. Now, I'm going to get you in a kneeling position. Okay, so we're now on our knees, we're going to go into a kneeling position. So I'm going to get you with your left hand going to the left and just bring your right leg across to the side. Do make sure your chest is up nice and tall, hips are forward, hand on your hip, and all I always do is just bring it up and down. Because gravity is pulling the leg down, this is gonna work the inner thigh muscle. It's also gonna work, of course, your hip flexors to push you forward, which will indirectly loosen the hip up. We're doing 10 reps on the right leg. So we've just got two more. Love, you're gonna hold it up there, hold it up there, just breathing in, breathing out, because we're holding it for 10 seconds. That's gonna really build those muscle groups up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're just dropping it there. That's working the bum muscles, working your thighs, but especially gonna get your inner thigh muscles working. Let's do the other side. Now this is my problem side. We're gonna put the right hand down, left leg up for a nice control movement, hand on your hip, and we're just tapping down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and magic number 10. Holding up there, holding that leg up for 10 seconds. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Letting go. Now, just strengthened it up. As you can tell, I didn't do an adductor stretch. We don't stretch those muscles. If you're stretching them, it can cause a micro tears in your groin. So that's the big no-no, no stretching. And now I'm gonna get you standing up and grab your band for me. Okay, I got you standing and I've tied a band over my left leg, my problematic leg. Now I've tied the other side on a foam runner just because it's stable. But you can use a door, you can use a table, whatever you've got at home that is stable and your foam runner or your, um, your band won't go. So I'm just gonna put my weight, my left hand on the foam runner. I'm gonna stand on my right leg and lift my left leg forward. Keeping the hip aligned, I always say to my clients, your hips are always nice and straight, because what we need to do is bring your left leg inwards without dropping your hips. So dropping the hips is a bad thing. Also, if you find your your uh, ferro band, your resistance band, is too loose, just put the foam roller a bit further away. We're just gonna go in and out, because we're using the band as an extra strengthening move to get the inner thighs muscles working. Now, when you're in pain, you don't really want to go too far. You just go where your pain levels go, um, lets you go. With my clients, I always say about two or three pain out of 10 max. Anything more, you stop, you do the exercises that are good for you. Of course, with all this, if you still are having problems, please see a physiotherapist. Just make sure that you've got the best program for you. And I just have my hands here to stabilize my hips, just to make sure they don't go anywhere. <laughs> we're doing 10 reps after 10, give it a nice little shake, and we'll do another 10 on the problematic side. So all this is just to get your inner thigh muscles stronger. We're using the ball to get the muscles of the inner thigh looser, but we're not doing any stretches because I don't want you tearing or doing any more problems to the side. We don't want more problems. But by doing this, we're just building up the muscles in the inner thighs. I can really feel that. <laughs> just two more. Great, last one. And then repeat on the other side. Now to repeat on the other side, you just let go of the bands. Oops, easy. And then you just tie the other one. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm just kind of, you know, put my foot in and out. So you hold it with your hand. Use a foam roller, use whatever you've got at home. Leg forward, and we're just going in and out. I would say use a stable object. I just have my right leg can go a bit further than my left. And 
like just a little more resistance. I'm going to put my femur a little more backwards. There we go. Just so we can feel those muscles going. We're going to keep those hips aligned. Make sure you're breathing in. Breathing out. Good, just two more for me, two more. Get all those muscle groups working, lovely. Shake it off, shake it off, because even standing on that left leg, building up those muscles. Let's do 10 more just to get those muscles really working, but I'm just gonna move my finger again. There we go. Two, three, four. Yeah, feel my muscles here today. Yes, why are we working out? <laughs> Just last two, going in, last one, perfect. Taking the band off. Whew. <laughs> your arms are shaking your knee too, your legs are shaking your knee too. But try these exercises out, see how your uh, going feels afterwards. But I would recommend doing this every day. Twice if you can, but the more you get your muscles working on your groin, the better it'll be for you. We've got to build it up. But any problems, please see a physio. Leave a comment though, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely day.